Hey what's happening guys welcome to e-reviews. In this video let's take a look at the gaming and benchmark performance of the Letty V Lemax. We'll also check if the phone overheats while gaming. So without any further ado let's get started. So the time is 810 and the battery percentage is at 98% and currently the temperature of the device is anywhere between 25 and 26 degrees celsius at the front and pretty much the same at the back as well. Kicking off the gaming list is the all time favorite Asphalt 8. The game will be played at high graphic settings. Next up let's get our hands on the Mortal Kombat X. Next up, Nova 3, one of the most graphic intense games on the Play Store.
The time is 8.32, we've been gaming for exactly 22 minutes, let's take a quick temperature check. As you can see, the front of the device registered a maximum of 31.2 degrees Celsius and the back registered a maximum of 30 degrees Celsius. So far, the phone seems to be in control of the heating issue. But I will continue to game for some more time and get back to you guys with the results. When it came to Modern Combat 5, I had to install the game twice on this device. The first time I installed, the game worked perfectly, but since I use a VPN, I had some connection issues with the server, so I had to uninstall and reinstall the game. The second time I installed, there was no sound during gameplay. I'm guessing it's an issue with the game file rather than the device as it handled other games without this issue. Apart from the sound issue, the gameplay was absolutely smooth. There were no lags, stutters or frame drops. The time is 9.11, we've been gaming for exactly an hour so let's take a final temperature check. As you can see, the front of the device registered a maximum of 36.3 degrees Celsius which is still way under the overheat range of temperatures and even the back registered a maximum of 34 to 35 degrees Celsius. So the Leti Vilamax seems to have a lid on the heating issues of the Snapdragon 810 processor without compromising with performance. Here are the benchmark results. As of now, the Leti Vilamax seems to be living up to its name as a flagship. I will be testing this device intensively, so if there are any changes in the numbers depicted in this video, I'll be sure to update them on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram. So make sure to follow me on those social platforms. Alright guys, so that brings me to the end of this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, go ahead and give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more such videos. This is Santosh signing off for e-reviews. You guys have a great day.